I'm deeply honored and truly humbled to be receiving the Goremic Award. I'm also very sorry not to be with you in San Salvador to accept it in person. I want to thank President Sanchez Serin and Foreign Minister Martinez for hosting the meeting and extend my deepest appreciation to Secretary General Leisner and the award selection panel for giving me this honor. Throughout my life, I have made it my mission to do everything possible to help struggling democracies succeed. When I served as Secretary of State, I was proud to help launch the community of democracy. And for the past 14 years, as chairman of the National Democratic Institute, I've been delighted to continue my association with you. It has now been 15 years since the first conference was held in Warsaw. At the time, many predicted that the meeting would be our last. Some felt that such a community was not needed because with the Berlin Wall down, democracy had already triumphed. Others argued that the process of convening a group was undesirable because it would cause friction over whom to include. And still others warned that it would be naive to place too much faith in democracy when the world would always be governed more by interests than by ideals. As it happened, the community of democracies proved an extremely successful experiment. Those who came to Warsaw with doubts left with new grounds for enthusiasm. And the primary reason was our host, Foreign Minister Bronislav Goremek. Mr. Goremek spoke to us from his own life experience concerning the value of freedom and also its fragility. In his welcoming remarks, he declared that, and I quote, the emergence of democracy was the most important development of the 20th century, unquote. But he also reminded us that the gift of freedom was never fully safe, because from one direction or another, the principles of freedom will always be opposed. He argued, therefore, that those who are blessed to live in a democracy have an obligation to repay that blessing by upholding free institutions and by teaching, protecting, and cherishing democratic values. He urged us to recognize that whether we're going to the polls in San Salvador, broadening civil society in Bamako, exercising our right to peaceful dissent in Seoul, or strengthening political parties in Ulaanbaatar, we are all part of the same democratic community. Above all, he taught us that in any language, solidarity is a beautiful concept. Through solidarity, established democracies can come closer to fulfilling their potential. Struggling democracies can find the help they need to deliver on freedom's promise. And future democracies can draw inspiration in their quest for social progress and political change. This was the Goremic formula for building and preserving democracy. It's a formula that has endured the test of time and remains as relevant today as ever from Tunisia to Thailand. The world today is as complicated and volatile as I've ever seen it, but there is at least one thing that does remain the same. Nothing is more powerful or positive than free people working together. So thank you once again for this award, but above all, thank you for keeping the cause of democracy close to your hearts. It is because of you that the torch of freedom burns bright. Thank you.